Welcome to HP Tuner's Ford Mod Motor Training Part 2. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at our VCM Editor software. Now, VCM Editor is going to be where we make our calibration changes. So if you want to go and dial in our fuel or spark or adjust something on our automatic transmission, we're going to be doing all of that within the VCM Editor software. Now, we're not going to go over any tuning techniques in this video, just understanding all the aspects of the software so we know where to find things as we move through our training course and look at individual things like doing our mass airflow tuning or for dialing in our spark timing. We know where to go, we know what to adjust, and how the software works. So without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check it out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at doing a VCM editor software overview to begin our training course. We need to understand all the features and functions within the software. That's what we're going to be focusing on. We're not going to focus on how to tune yet. We're going to be focusing on just taking a look at how the software works, some editing techniques within the software, proper file saving, and just some general things again with the software. So we know exactly what to do when we move into our other training tutorials here in the course, you'll be a lot more familiar with our VCM editor software. Now we do have our VCM scanner. We're gonna have a separate video coming next here in the next training tutorial. We'll be taking a look at that and doing a really in-depth overview of that software so we can understand exactly where to find things and what to expect. So let's focus our attention here into the VCM editor software. So I have it open on my laptop screen right now. When we take a look at the top, we have a couple menus here to deal with on the very, very top. And then below, we have these icons. We can see that a lot of them are grayed out right now. So we'll find that we have a lot of redundancy in what we can do here within the software. So these icons exist they give us a quick access to certain things or features and functions we might want to work with. So for example, if I go to File, I can go to Open, we can see it's going to allow me to open up a calibration file here. Alternatively, I could also go to my icon here and do the same thing, open file. So that's going to be redundancy. A lot of what you find in your drop-down menus will be available right in here. But some features we need to actually go to the drop-down menus for. So we'll discuss that as we go along in the training tutorial. Now, first thing I want to do is open up a calibration file so we can gain access to taking a look at some of these icons that are grayed out. Now, one thing I do want to point out right now is that I don't have a file loaded. We're going to find that we have these two icons right here. This is the read and this is the write function. Reading will allow us to put plug our HP Tuner's MPVI or MPVI2 cable into our OBD2 port, plug that into our laptop. And then if we want to do a read on the PCM, so we want to read the file that's loaded in there. It might be a tune file, it might be the stock file from Ford. Either way, we need to do a read so we can edit that and then flash it back to the ECU we'll find that this icon is going to allow us to go in and do a read vehicle. Once I load a file or open up a file in here, we're going to find that the read goes away and that we have the option to go and write to the vehicle because it's expecting, because we have a file loaded, we'll be going to write. So anytime you want to go do a read, you need to make sure you have your files closed and that it'll allow you to access this icon right here of the read vehicle. So let's go right now. I'm going to go to file and do open. And what we're going to find here is that I have access or I'm accessing my HP Tuners 2005 to 2010 Mustang calibration file examples. Let's quickly just go out of our directory here. On my desktop, I have that folder that I've provided with the training course saved. So we can see here, uh, it's found on my desktop location. We can see here HP Tuners 2005 to 10 Mustang. And then in here, we can find that we have a couple different things we can select. Now, within my folder, I have calibration file examples. I have a bunch of different file uh, that we can take a look at here. It doesn't really matter which one we choose for this particular tutorial. We can look down at our list. I have some stock files and supercharge and turbo examples just so that we have some things to reference during our training tutorials. So what I'm going to do is grab my stock 2005 Mustang GT 4.6 liter file. We can find that right here and click open. And now we can find that that original read or the read vehicle goes away and that we only can do a write because again, we have our file open. It's expecting that we want to go and edit it or flash it to the ECU and that we don't want to go and read it. Uh, we already have a file that we're dealing with. So that leads me into kind of what I want to uh, go and illustrate here. In the drop down menu, we can see now that we have a couple more features start to pop up here, specifically close. Close will close the file out. So right now the file is loaded. It only lets me go in here and do a write to the vehicle. If I go to file, go to close, notice the file is gone now and that we have the option to read from the PCM. So if you ever want to do a read on the ECU, you can't have a file open. It needs to be closed and that's where you actually do the close process. We don't find that close icon here. We have to go through the drop down. So there's what I was mentioning before, there's a little bit of redundancy in the software in some aspects. In some aspects, you actually have to go to your drop down menu 
to go and get to certain things you might want to uh, work with in the software. So let's go open up that file again. I'll go here into the stock 2005 Mustang file, click open, and now we can find it is open. So if we go down here and let's just kind of work our way across the top menu, and then we'll talk about our icons below it, um, we'll get more familiar with some of these features and functions. So if I go back up here to file, we can find here that we have a save. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.